Hello greatness, how are you all doing today? I believe you are doing fabulous. We are almost at the end. Three more um, lessons to go and we will be at the end of the first chapter of this book. Remember there are three chapters but 40, 45 lessons in general. So we started the last session we talked about omnipresence in lesson 24 in lesson 25 we are continuing from there um, and just to give some context of what his first um, statement is um, it's been a couple days right it's been I think um, at least about three days since I recorded the last session um, and so I'm saying all that you will understand why I said that his first statement <laughs> emphasized on why I'm saying that the last session, which was lesson 24, was recorded a couple of days ago. I, th I think it's about three days ago. So, so let's go on. He said, so that you may have a better understanding of the ever present time so that you may have a better understanding of the ever-present time. I will make this statement, which is an absolute truth, that no time has passed since our last session. It was, it was and is now. So you see why I wanted to explain that so that you have context of what we are talking about, about omnipresence. Um, I did not plan to record the last session three days apart. Sometimes I do it all in a sitting, but um, it, it, it's just um, amazing how it have aligned with it, right? So that you can have that understanding. So I'll take it one more time and we will go on from there. He says, so that you may have a better understanding of the ever-present time, I will make this statement, which is an absolute truth, that no time has passed since our last lesson. It was and is now. Why? Because man and not God made yesterday hmm. my goodness <laughs> this one you need some deeper um, understanding and an open heart to be able to receive this he said man and not God made yesterday and he will make tomorrow my goodness This is to you the seventh month in the year. That is according to when he was writing. It is the day on which Christ was born. And it is the only day that has ever been. My goodness. Time cannot pass. There is no past for man is a new creation by the power of the living Christ. You may not understand at once, but you will. So I do encourage you to listen to this a couple of times, just so it will settle. He said, can you conceive of Christ aging? Have you never discovered the wonderful fact in the thought of the eternal youth of the Christ? As Christ is, even so are we. Although it do not yet appear in physical or mortal sense, my goodness. For you speak of us as the unreal. The truth is quite the reverse. We are on the 
only real plane and your physical plane or plane of the senses is to us the unreal and the shadow of life and existence. <laughs> My God. We find many vital laws exactly the opposite of those in operation on your plane. You are there to bring into manifestation spiritual laws. And Christ showed you this possibility. What I was not able to engulf spirit. When spirit was absolutely controlling the physical atoms. There shall no evil or accident befall thee, nor any sickness come nigh thy tabernacle, which is your body. Your sicknesses, the disasters, are the results of your descent, or rather of your wrong plane of being. My goodness. Say, because we are living in the wrong plane, that is why these evil befall us. The fall is a present and not a past fact. For man's real fall is that he is content, my goodness, with the shadow of good. I'll take this part again. He said the fall is a present and not a past fact. It is not something that happened in the past. It is present. And that fall is that man's real fall is that he is content with the shadow of good. Mm. He still eats of the tree of good and evil. My goodness. Until the Christ fills the whole consciousness where man will ever be at war with himself. His brother and his God, my God. Mm. And let this sink into you in the name of Jesus. Mm. Man's understanding is clearer and light is breaking everywhere. You can read only the Old Testament more intelligently, seeing in the symbols, the inner and spiritual ideas of God. The waters of Mara were bitter. This was the result of the bitterness of the people. My God, my God. In other words, mm, the experiences of your physical plane is as a result of what goes on inside of you. Mm. My God. For man makes the quality of the land. The flow of waters increases or decreases according to the hidden laws within yourself. Mm. You have many, you have made the very form of your island, England, by your thoughts and inner forces. Look to it that you obey the voice of spirit. For man was made to have dominion. The very changes of climate, all seeming disasters, are in accord with the life and being of man. And until man has come into and unto God, back to Eden, you will seem to wait for the new heaven and the new earth. For in that day, they shall neither hurt nor destroy in all my holy mount. I have filled the veil that you may see the need of giving, the utmost for the highest. For blessed be God, for Jesus Christ, the Son of Man and the very Son of God. In the story of the bitterness of Mara is a hidden truth. Ingratitude and murmuring brought about bitterness. 
It is the same for us today. Your thoughts, if they are the suggestions of the senses, will still lead to bitterness and ashes. Mm. So learn the secret of praise and thanksgiving, the oil of joy. Even in the wilderness experience, the waters shall be sweet.、Mm. You shall partake of the milk and honey. The manna is at your very feet. Enough for each day. For Christ is that heavenly manna. Feed on him in your heart by faith.、Hmm. The very gifts you seek are poured out in rich abundance. So lift up your eyes and see. Just in as much as you yield to the divine innermost, as you live and bring forth the fruit of the Spirit. To that extent, shall you have access to all that earth and heaven can yield. But there is no want to the children of God. There are times on the physical plane when the way is hid and the heaven seen as brass. But you can still open the floodgates by steady thanksgiving and certain hope. If you only knew the closed doors. Ah, the senses, my goodness. So, whenever you feel like there are closed doors, it is only to your senses. For the realm of spirit has no closed doors, the doors are continually open. Kalikata. He said, If you only knew the closed doors are the senses brought up against a wall of your own construction. A, way, a wall of doubt, fear, and falsity. A breath of the Spirit of God consumes them. You are greater than shadow, sense, or clay. Having your feet on the rock, they cannot slide. God is with you. Complete harmony will be realized. For God is working out His divine purpose. Right inside of you. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name. Amen and amen. God richly bless you. This has been your brother Vincent. And、uh, we are still on the book Christ in You by Joseph S. Banner. This is.、Um, An unabridged、um, essays, 45 of them. And it, it's, it has really, really、uh, been a great blessing to me. And I know that as you follow this, it is blessing you as well. Please don't listen to it once, right? As we go on, go back and listen to it again. Go back and listen to it again so that this Christ. Can be formed in you. That is our goal, right? The book is Christ in you. So let this Christ be formed in you as you continue to read it. I have my saying that what you spend time with, you become. May you become the Christ who is in you. Now, amen. And please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on becoming all you were born. Be. Have a great and a glorious day. Bye bye.